Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let f of x equal negative 2x squared and g of x equal 2x minus 4. So I notice we have a parabola and a linear equation put together. On the set of axes below, draw these graphs of y equals f of x and y equals g of x. So here, they're saying g of x and f of x represent the y variable on the y-axis, uh, and our x obviously represents the x-axis. So let's graph these. Um, I think the friendliest way to go about doing this is to use a table. Um, you can use a graphing calculator, of course, but I think with the parabola, it's really nice to use a table. So when we're using a table, let's say we have x, and uh, our output is f of x, right, for the parabola. That equals negative 2x squared. Now, one thing that's confusing about this negative sign here is how to apply it. So let's deal with that right away. Uh, we'll go from, let's say, negative 4, right, all the way up to positive 4 to get a nice little range and shape here for this graph. All right, so um, this is negative 2x squared. You can think of it as subtracting 2x squared. I say that because the squaring doesn't apply to the, the negative sign or the 2. It just applies to the x. So we're stuck subtracting whatever we're, whatever we're calculating here. Here's what I mean. So negative 2 times negative 4 squared. Oops, sorry. This means what? Well, negative 4 squared is 16, and that times negative 2 is negative 32, right? Notice I still have to apply this negative sign. So this is not going to fit on my graph. Uh, I'll keep going. We have next negative 2 times negative 3 squared. Well, that's 9 times negative 2, which is negative 18. So this is still not going to fit on my graph, right? I think the range is only about 10 or negative 10. Let's try the next one. If I plug in negative 2, um, I have negative 2 squared, which is 4, times negative 2 is negative 8. That'll fit. So that's our first point. Negative 2, negative 8. Negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 here. All right? Let's count that again. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's our first point. Now we plug in negative 1. So it's negative 2 times negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Our next point is negative 1, negative 2. Plug in 0, our output is 0, right here, so 0, 0. Plug in 1, I have negative 2, times 1 squared, which is, well, 1 squared is 1, times negative 2 is negative 2. So here we have 1, negative 2. And we can already see the symmetric nature of the parabola. I'm not going to plug in 3 and 4, it's not going to reach, I'm not going to fit in the graph. Um, of course, if I needed to do that, I could reset the scale of this thing so it would fit, but I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to do that. So we have negative 2 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So here it's confirming the shape of this parabola. So here I'm going to just take this pen, label it, make sure it goes through the points, and the arrows show that you understand it continues past what you can see here. Right. So these points, you might also want to label them on your graph. Um, I'm going to leave them like this for now. So that's f of x. Now g of x is the graph of negative of 2x minus 4. So this is already in slope um, intercept form. So we know the intercept is negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. If you remember in y equals mx plus b form, this is our b value, our, our, our y intercept, and 2 is our slope here. So 2 is a slope. We go up 2 over 1. And you can see the intersection right there, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and so forth. Just take a ruler. Set your line up so it looks good, right? And to label this, right, you could write that this is g of x, which equals 2x minus 4. And then here, this is f of x equals negative 2x squared. All right, so they want to know, uh, using the script to determine all values of x where they're equal. Let's take a look. Well, they're definitely equal here, right, um, at 1, negative 2, right? They're equal. So you can say here, um, at 1, negative 2, f of x equals g of x. But you can see the lines continuing going to cross somewhere else. So let's see where that is. Um, all right. So I'm going to go back down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And here, my line's a little bit off. It should hit over here, right? The slope is also going to hit negative 2, 
negative 8, right? At that point, they're also equal. f of x equals g of x. Now, if this approach um, doesn't work, right, you can easily set this up on a graphing calculator to see where they intersect. You can also solve it algebraically. Let's do that. So if you want to know when they meet, 2x minus 4 equals negative 2x squared, set them equal to each other and solve for x. So to do that, I would add 2x squared to both sides. I want to get 0 on one side. Usually it's a good strategy when I'm dealing with quadratics or x squared. So we have 0, 2x squared, plus 2x minus 4. Um, I want to divide everything by 2 to, to simplify this process. And that's x squared plus x minus 2 equals, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. So now, the question is, are there factors of negative 2 uh, that add to positive 1, right? And there are. Um, if we factor this out, right, we have x and x, and if we take positive 2 times negative 1, the product of negative uh, 1 and positive 2 is negative 2, and they add to positive 1, so that works. Thus, the two x values that work here are x equals negative 2, and x equals 1. Those two x values, if we plug them into these spots, right, the whole product would equal 0. Remember, we have two numbers that are multiplied to get 0 here. So x could be negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And 0 times anything is 0. Or x could be 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. And 0 times anything is 0. So these two x values work. It tells you that, these, that f of x and g of x meet each other at these two x values. So to find out what the y values are, you can plug them back into either function. Um, g of x is a much friendlier function, I think. Maybe not that much, but it's 2x minus 4. So plug in g of, find out what g of 1 is. It's 2 times 1 minus 4, which equals 2 minus 4 and negative 2. So that means when x is 1, y is negative 2. That's one meeting point. The other is at g of negative 2. So we have 2 times negative 2 minus 4. Negative 8, uh, negative 4, excuse me, minus 4 is negative 8. So the other meeting point is negative 2, negative 8. And I, I suggest that when you uh, solve this kind of question, right, but you see our, our points are right, 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 8, um, you support with either the graphing calculator or with algebra. Now there are lots of videos in the graphing calculator. You can set it up under the y equals button and then find intersection points, but I think it's important how to know how to do this um, algebraically and graphically um, because it really, I think, reflects a deep understanding of this process. All right, hope this helped.